Hello everyone, and today we will be playing Space Engineers, and um, I've noticed that in all my time playing Space Engineers, I've never actually played the survival mode, so I thought that I'd give it a go. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I guess we go on Earth-like drop pod, and uh spawn in. Okay, here we go. Dropping in. Quite a nice area. <laughs> oh god. It's a parachute gun. Oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Okay. We're at a slight angle here. Please don't mess up oh my god wow wow okay okay then this is our spawn we've already like fucked up yup <laughs> right so our first starting thing is uh is uh messed up already um try and flip it. No, it's not happening. Why? <laughs> Wait, did that? I didn't... Uh... Okay, the survival kit is there. It's okay. Right, I can work with this. Alright, I, I can work with this. Wait, how do I crouch? I see. So if I go I, not I. If I get in and press I, then we can get our weapons. Now, I have played this a little bit. I will be honest, I've played it a tiny bit. Just the, just so I'm not a complete failure. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this scenario is pretty cool, I guess. Um, Alright, so first thing we got to do is we got to collect stone to get... Um, the resources going. Um, hopefully, I can access the. Um, okay, there we go. I can access that, so that's okay. Um, let's just see what everything does. Okay. <laughs> By the way, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you haven't. If you can't tell already, I'm going to be absolutely uh, terrible at this game. So, if you don't mind watching an idiot trying to figure out how to play this game, and uh, then stick around. If not, this could be very annoying for you. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Um, we can have this in our inventory, and I believe um, it will make our oxygen and stuff last a lot longer so uh yeah uh but yes first things first we gotta dig ourselves a li nice little hole and collect some uh stone so let's uh let's get going by the way if you haven't uh played space engineers basically um if you're coming from Astroneer, it's basically like a a more complex version of Astroneer. Oh, here we go. Is it E to pick up? Or is it F? It's F. Okay. Right. Let's get some stone. And then we'll put that... Yeah. Okay. Full. Oh, thank you. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Right, maybe I shouldn't have put the hole right there. Oh, God. Right. Let's put the stone in here, and it should... Refine it? Or do I have to go on... Pro I have to go on production. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Right. If we get it to do 100, and then... Uh, Wait, what? Is it not gonna... Produce some stuff for me? 
Okay. Do I not have enough stone? I have lots of stone, don't I? Or do I? Let's have a look. 390 stone. I guess it needs more stone to work then. Okay, back to uh, mining. Ooh, lots of stone. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Put that. Oh, okay, so it does it. It needs a certain amount of stone before it actually uh, starts working. So if we just grab a turn. So I'm not really explaining what I'm doing. I don't. Oh, okay, okay. I'm collecting stone, putting it in the survival kit, and it's turning the that stone into uh, things like iron, nickel, silicon, and uh, gravel, which I think does nothing. It's just sort of like a waste uh, product. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, and if you're coming from Astroneer, then you might see this as the soil uh, centrifuge. I hate to refer to uh, Astroneer when I play this, but yeah, that's basically what it is, what it does. So, my goal is to just collect as much uh, resources as I, as I can, and then start building a nice little base. Well, not like a proper base, just like a nice little platform that can um, generate some power, maybe we'll get that wind turbine uh, going to generate power and stuff. Ooh, okay. Now, what do you reckon? Is that enough for me to start doing my thing? I don't know. Let's see. I get rid of that and just get a bunch of these uh, steel plates. All right, that'll do. That will do inventory. All right, let's pop these over here. Let's see what we can do. Um, see if we can get our base uh, started. Uh, wait, there we go. Right. So. The first thing I want to do is make a nice little uh, tower go uh, up here. I think that will do. Because the higher uh, you go... By the way, I'm, I'm doing this for the, uh, for the wind turbine. Uh, <laughs> the higher you go, the more power it generates because there's more wind up there, I'm guessing. Um, so let's see if we can place this. I don't know if we can, I'm pretty sure we can. Okay, we need interior plates. So what I can do then, let's get rid of that. If I go in here and go into production, and I believe, oh no, it's, okay, right. Bear with me, <laughs> bear with me. Uh, so, we need 10 interior plates, 2 computers, oh wait, 2 computers, uh, 24. Alright, let's go ahead and place this then, and hopefully we can weld all of this. So. Oh, our oh, motors, I forgot about the motors, and I think... Yeah, I need a couple more girders there as well. There we go! Look at that, we have power! We have power! Now, all I uh, have to do now is uh, oh, make a nice little platform <laughs> for my stuff. Okay. I think... That'll do, and then I can just hop up on here. I guess not. <laughs> uh, if I press 4 again. No. G. G. Yes, it's on here, isn't it? 
How do I change to that? Did that just do it? Do I now have a sloped block? No. How do I change that then? How do I do this? I can change the color. Uh. Wait. <gasps> oh. Okay. There we go. And we get a nice little slope in there. And now we can get up here. Nice. Nice one. Right, and I'll place another one on this side as well, just so I, I can uh, get up there. Right. There we go. We've got power going up there, right? And now, I believe, if I go in here, I can get the basic assembler, I think. Basic assembler? Yeah, basic assembler. And then I've got a basic refinery, which are the two things I want to build next. Cool. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Right. So, we've got a little platform going here. And if I get this out, so, let's have a little look at it. Okay, that's, that's where I want it to be there. Because, as I know that you see the sort of yellow square that is basically like a connector and that will connect to uh, other stuff basically <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining but if I place that there right and then I get number six which is the basic refinery now you can see another square there so basically if the two squares are touching and they will be linked so if I then place that there those two will be linked up so if i accessed the inventory on this one i can also access the inventory on that one by just being on that one huh, okay right so let's see what these things need uh this thing needs oh, 80 computers 80 computers four displays 10 motors and 40 construction components that's a lot of stuff. Hopefully we can make that. <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to start digging away again. Um, let's go. So what's it? 80 computers. Uh, there we go. 80 computers. Now I've completely forgot what the other stuff is. Uh, there we go. Finally. Right, that's up and running. Right, what does this need? It needs more uh, construction components. And it needs a hundred steel plates. Okay. I believe I will need... Uh, I can put this back in, can't I? If I put these back in here... That'll leave me with some more room to pick up some stone. Alright. All of that is now done. Why can't I put that in there? There we go. Energy low. Ener energy low. Okay. Is that doing it? Yeah. I know how to play this game, man. Boom. There we go. And yes, I did place the slope right behind the thing and I can't get up now. Uh, actually, wait, can I... Probably ran out of uh, blocks now, haven't I? Yeah. Wait, if I grind this away. There we go. Cool. Alright, now we've got this basic refinery which can carry four times the amount the, uh, the normal one can do. And look at this, we can now make more complex items. In here, uh, we can search stuff. We can we can do things like oh, we can build uh, better versions of uh, equipment. I think I can get that, you know. Right. So the next thing I think I want to do is to get an O2. to generator which I'll need for generating oxygen obviously <laughs> um, yeah and I think that would do it 
small batteries that would be useful what do batteries need power cells and stuff all right that would be good wouldn't it because then it can just you can store energy oh it's a, oh, a small battery okay I got gotcha. you I got gotcha. you I need a large battery there we go there's a normal battery Oh, that is big, isn't it? Right. This could be like here, like this is. <laughs> I can't speak. This will uh, charge up any over power. So any overflow of power, this will charge up on here, which will then disperse power, making it a lot better. I, I think. Let's see how much power we are actually um, generating here. Output 366 kilowatts. I think that's good. I am not sure. The basic refinery is now all, was all on 100%. Required input 1 kilowatt, kilowatt of power. Oh wow! So that, that's actually pretty good. Basic assembler. Same again. So we have like plenty of power of that, just that one turbine. But actually that's with those two at idle. Okay, so let's fill them up with, uh, with stone and, and things. And let's see how, how well it does then. Right, let's put the stone in there. Oh wow, it does it automatically now. Okay, cool. I did that super fast as well. So if I if I take all of this out, take it all out, and I pop it all in here, just so it's all together now. All together now. Um, it doesn't automatically pile up on each other. So that's annoying, right? Okay. Right. So you've got this going. Our original respawn pod is upside down. What a start, eh? But we are getting there. We are getting there. Uh, let's get this oxygen generator down. Not that one, but that one. Okay, we can pop this down here. Okay, you need steel plates. We can get steel plates in the production. We can now place it. So we need four motors. Four motors, two large steel tubes. Another 10 steel plates, okay. There we go, we now have an oxygen generator. Which I believe, if I go in, in this, what is this, by the way, what is this? That is an O2 generator right there. I will start to recycle some stuff. But for now, we can, we can just put this on in here. And then we've got our oxygen bottle there that we can pop in. So if I, if I put that in there, will that re yeah, it does. It refills it. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right. So we've got oxygen generator. We've got the, the basic refinery and the thingy. I reckon we could do with some containers, a large cargo container, I think just like a normal one will do, yeah, it's annoying the way I've built this, but that, that should connect up shouldn't it, yeah, so if I place that there, 
can build that up to a point, but I can't. Oh, I, I can still actually access this. There we go, look at that. Right, and I should be able to still access everything from here, and we still, we have lots of room for everything. Right, so now I can just dump everything I, I have in here now. Cool. Right. So we have lots of room. Actually, I'm going to get some of those steel plates back. And I'm going to make this platform a little bit better. By placing... Okay, the official point of getting up is here. And then... I'll scroll... There we go. So we've got put a couple blocks around here. There we go. Lots of room up here. Right, cool. Starting to become a little bit like home. Right, something that I want to do, which I don't think I can do just yet, is get an automatic drilling system. Actually, I can. If I just... I can just get rid of all this bit here. Right, I want a drill arm on top of this, right? It will come up here, like some tubes or whatever. Go across, and then there will be a piston thing, right? Maybe two. And then on the end, a drill. And then I'll turn it all on, and it will slowly go down and collect lots and lots of stone automatically. Whoa! Almost fell down. Which would be very cool. Let's see if we can do it. Drill. Can we get a drill? Yes, we can. We've got a drill. Right. Can we get. Um. Wait, is my guy getting hurt? Oh shit. No. <laughs> Okay, right, so we got the drill in our inventory. Let's see. Conveyors. Con. Conveyors. Uh, conveyor tube. There we go. And then we want to want one of them as well. And then. What was it? A piston. Piston. Do you have a piston? There we go. Right, we've got everything that we need for our automatic uh, thingy. How do I get off this? There we go. <laughs> okay. So, thank you. If you're still watching this, thank you. Thank you for carrying on, sticking it through with me. <laughs> I need all the support I can get. Right. Now, this. Oh, actually, actually. Try not to fly too much. Okay, right. Let's just get it so it's on there. It goes. Okay, you need interior plates. Okay, so we'll make a bunch of interior plates, shall we? Production. Interior plates. There we go. We get, I don't know, like that many. And then we'll also make a bunch of these as well. We can get rid of that because we don't have any of the stuff for it. Uh, okay. Inventory. Let's grab these plates and the interior plates. Where have they gone there? There. There we go. Right. And then we'll pop that there. Right. And then... Let's place one going straight. Right, and then another curved one. Can I get that the right way? Why, why is that not... I want that to go down now, so... Why isn't that doing what I want it to do? End. Why isn't that... There we go. Jeez. Wasting all my hydrogen. 
Right, and then what we do is get a piston. Right. Okay, it's a little bit. Wait, what? Right, there we go. Piston, that is what I think it, it does, right? Yeah. It's gonna be... I'm gonna have to do some drilling to, uh, to fit this thing, because I still gotta put the drill on it yet. And then one curved. Let's try and get it done this time without any hassle. There we go. And then a piston thingy. Right there, like that. Now that's a lot higher. Can we now place the drill? We can indeed. There we go, finally. My god, that took a little while. Okay, so first things first, let's try and get the uh, the pipes all done. Build the first one. Yeah, construction components. Definitely need more of them. Oh, I have loads. They're right there. Okay. Construction components. Small tubes. There we go. Right now. It's the. Oh, okay. Be careful there. Just this. Almost built that already. Just need four large steel tubes. Boom! This thing is done. Is that Energy done? Low. Oh, energy low. Okay, let's get this. We should move this uh, survival kit onto our platform soon. Right, no more will we suffer. This is my first creation. Um, <laughs> will it work? Will it work? Oh my god. Right, so first things first. Drill, what's this? Max required output 2 kilowatts. Right, why is it in red? Why is that in red? Can I not? Is it not operational? <gasps> oh, look! That's a separate thing! I need 10 steel plates for it. Right. That better be connected there though. Right. Right, let's let's have a look now. Uh, okay. Okay, the drill is still funny. Drill, if I can I turn it on? Can I turn the drill on? Talk about on. Okay, off what happened? Nothing is good, right. Uh, piston two, right? Safety detach. I don't want none of that. Right? Velocity. Uh, maximum distance. Maximum distance. Impulse active. This is. This this is a thingy that stretches, right? This is one of them. It's not one that spins, is it? Oh god. Piston, right. If I turn the drill on for now, right? That that go. Piston two. Oh look at that, it is collecting that. It's collecting. Right then, if I press K and click reverse on this piston. There it goes. Oh god. It goes a little bit too fast for my liking. Velocity. I'll make it just two. Okay, that's still a little bit too fast for my liking. We'll make it one. Look at that! Look at that! That is awesome! 
It's working! Let me see the production. Not the production. Inventory and the... Look! It's doing it! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, look at my... Behold my automatic drilling machine. Now, this thing will be temporary because it's like as soon as that reaches the limit that'll be it <laughs> but still though look look how much stone that is going to collect that is so cool oh my god like in the future i can make it a little bit higher and add like three or four like pistons and make them all go at once and then that'll be like a really deep hole I need to watch out for that like, if I accidentally fall in there. So that I can just keep going until... Yeah, which is almost soon, by the way. Okay, it stopped. It's still collecting stuff, though, down there. If I press K and do the reverse again... On the old uh, piston, where is it? It will probably collect more stone, like as it as it comes back up. <gasps> oh my god, I almost fucking died. <laughs> I need to put like a safety rail there, man. Yeah, that's collecting as it comes back up. That is so cool. How much stuff have we got now? Look, we got loads! We got loads of material now! Look at that! It still collects stuff that... Not as, like, quickly as it was, but still! Oh my god! That's so good! That is awesome! Now I've got a deadly hole there that I'll have to patch up. But, still, and then I could, like... Just stagger this a little bit and then make it mine down on that side and this side and then I'll patch it over when it's done right looks like it's finished so I'll turn it off and then I might as well turn that off as well there we go look at that that was well cool what a way to finish this very first episode I've been playing for like for what like an hour and a half and I'll try and fit this all the way down into like a 20 minute maybe 15 minute video so I hope you guys like this uh, series because uh, I am I mean that is so like it's so satisfying when you make something and it just works I uh, like quoted Todd Howard there, but yeah, like that, that is awesome. We have yet to build our very first like rover, you know, our first proper base, first space station, spaceship, like a plane, you know, like there's so much that I can do in this game. And I'm, this is the very beginning where we are literally just collecting stone. I still need to go out and find, um, what was that? What was that stuff called for the for the grids? Cobalt. I still need to go out and find cobalt. And I know there's like silver out there and stuff. And then when we find them, we can make like little bases around them and stuff. And like set up like a rig like this that will just like penetrate it all automatically. And then when I come back, it'll be done, sort of thing. You know? Like this is so cool, right? I'm going to end the video, <laughs> please uh, drop a like if you like this sort of thing and you want to see more, and also subscribe if you like this thing and you want to see more, and don't forget to click the uh, bell notifier uh, so, you, so, you, <laughs> so you know when I upload videos, otherwise you, will, you won't see any of my videos unless you see, uh, click the notification bell because YouTube won't recommend me. Um, but yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, see you later. <laughs>